Hi, Marcus here, um, doing a quick one minute video about how to populate your touchscreen or four pass touch program. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, let's assume that for the moment that you've gone and you've created in your back office a number of products. Um, I'll do two different ways. So arguments like you've got some products over here, you've got um, some uh, sales item, black label cans, etc., etc and you obviously want to get that onto your touchscreen so we open up a touchscreen we log in we click on cash sale once we get cash sale now we've got a blank screen so the question is how do we get the button now the, the two are not linked to each other in other words the back office and the point of sale because you can put in whatever you want on your touchscreen all right so i press c for configure i'm going to click over here arguments sake and say it's a new menu i'm going to put in my beers and ciders screen whatever the case may be all right um and simply put i'm just going to get out of there now this is a menu button so when i click on it it will take me to the menu page and now i want to add the products onto this page i'm not going to make the menus again i'm going to click on that one and say i want to new products multiple okay because in my database i know i've got some items in there that i want to do so let's see if i've got castle well i've got black label over there no i don't want the coca-cola castle can castle a lager dumpy uh, argument sake a court and that's the products that I want and simply press enter and it will populate it for you and immediately I can start selling all right that's as simple as it gets now let's assume for the moment that you've got other products that you would like to add to this page the beers and ciders page but they they don't exist yet again I press here for configure click anywhere I want to and I say quick button quick button is allows me to create the product on the fly it's a lot quicker, a lot faster way. So let's say I want to do argument sake. Uh, I don't know if I've got Vintuk, but let's do add a Vintuk lager in there or whatever beers or ciders you want to put in there. And I want to sell that for argument sake 25 Rand. Again, don't put it in the decimals, just like that. And away we go. All right, and there's my Vintuk lager. Immediately I can sell it. So the idea with the quick button, as I showed you now, is that you can create a button on the fly somebody walks in they want a specific drink that you've never heard of never you don't even know how to make it uh, or a food uh, item for that matter you can do it on the same and that's as simple as it gets enjoy